Okay, welcome back. Um, we are playing Resident Evil 4 still, and we're at this bit. Um, where we're trying to get where Ashley's going to actually do something useful. So what we do is we piggyback her up here, and she's got to operate a kind of lever thing while we protect her, because she's going to get, well, her and us are going to get swamped by Watch out for me. bad dudes in black dressing gowns. So, um, yeah, we head up here. And pretty much straight away, there's a dude. They're not overly tough, but that was actually a miss. There should be one from the other direction, and I believe, yeah, there's another one coming from here. There we go. There we go. So it's just a case of keeping her protected. Of course, it's a lot easier when you've got a rifle that has, like, a magazine capacity like this. you just got to keep an eye out, oh god, you got to make sure that there isn't another one coming, actually heading towards you. He may not be dead. No, he is dead, okay. Now she will automatically run around, she's actually brainy enough to run around and do the other one automatically, which is nice. But, there will be more dudes, there should be more dudes. Yeah, there he is. I don't think so. Right. This is what's so great about the rifle, it just punches through everything. Strange that there's no more coming from the other side. And yet there's... Oh my god, if I missed that. There we go. I don't understand why there... Oh, here we go, here we go. I was going to say, about time we had someone from this direction. Yeah, and there's a dude coming. Oh god, I thought he was going to go the other way, but he didn't. She should be pretty much done, that's it. And then all we have to do is she will come and say, Help me! Because she's. Oh, hello, there's a dude here first. Oh. Come on in. Come on in. Yes, yeah, so it is rather heavy on the old ammo frontage side, unfortunately. Well, if you're using a rifle. I mean, I got through. What was it, 18 rounds or something like that? Ridiculous. So, um, yeah. Just be a bit. Just be aware that um, you're going to end up using a bit of ammo for that. In fact, that whole section between between that blind thing, oh, for God's sake, between the blind uh, bladed guy and here, you use a lot of ammo. Now we come into here, and we will. We're going to be in here a few times. So what we do is kind of a weird room because we've got this giant upside down statues, which. Um, I don't know, they just look a bit bizarre. And behind, on the back of one of them, this one, um, there is... Oh, I was trying to fire just one shot and my finger twitched. There we go. So you get Einen Spinner. Now if you smash this, I believe there's a grenade, I think, in here. Yeah, a grenade, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Um, the familiar blue light of a merchant, of course. Got some more Pesetas. Now you can go through there and do some shooting challenges, but sod that. Um, not really a lot else we can do, to be honest. There's some handgun ammo on here, which we will take. Now, what we'll do very quickly, I will say very quickly, but... Um, oh, actually... I wonder... I might even be able to do... Okay, interesting. We're about to, if this is, well, this is the bit I'm thinking of. We're going to lose Ashley in a minute. But um, if we walk down there, we will lose Ashley. But um, anyway, nothing to sell to the merchant. I don't think we've got any TMP stuff. I suppose we could sell a couple of grenades. Oh, sorry, I'll use the grenades if I can. Right. Oh, no, I'm getting confused, of course. Yeah, no, we have to. We actually have to lose Ashley now, don't we? You're right. I'm fine. Just leave me alone. Ashley, wait. <gasps> Typical teen tantrum. End of the chapter. Yeah, I was forgetting. I was getting a bit confused, kind of where we were. But um, 
go. So yeah, we lost Ashley. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. We haven't got Ashley tailing around us, getting killed. Hunnigan, what happened? The transmission got cut off. <laughs> Salazar, how'd you... We've jacked the line. We didn't want you telling everyone any unnecessary information. Where's Ashley? Ah, oh, so she fell into one of our wonderful traps. We'll make sure we find her. Don't you worry about her. Oh, yes. I let our miserable insects out for some exercise down in the sewer. Thanks. That should keep me company, because boredom kills me. I look forward to our next encounter in another life. So, Ashley has gone. Our only way is through here. And unfortunately, we've got a new enemy to fight now. It's this, um... Oh, I don't like them at all. They're these invisible bug things. But, um, anyway, you'll see. And you'll, you'll well, you'll hear them before you see them, actually, because you hear one scuttling about in a minute. There we go. It sounded like it got bloody close, didn't it? Anyway, I'm going to change on to the old shotgun, because we've got a bit of ammo for it, <coughs> and it seems to be pretty much the best sort of weapon to use in this situation. Now these things, when we do start fighting them, they start dropping some rather useful bits that we can we can combine. But anyway, now I believe, yeah, there's one at the end of the corridor. You probably can't see it from there, but if I zoom in, there you can see kind of saliva or whatever coming out, dribbling out of its mouth. So I'm taking no chances. I hate these things. Here we go. And they're surprisingly tough. They often take two or sometimes three shotgun blasts. But they drop these. Green eyes, red eyes and blue eyes. Right, um... What I'm going to do here... There's water down there. I'm actually going to lob. Because there are a couple in the water. And you may think, what the hell are you doing? That may not have killed them. No, in fact, he didn't kill either of them, so that's just rubbish. I'd like to put an RPG down there before he jumps out, but I may not do it in time. Okay, there we go. And they sort of become visible again once you've fragged them, but they're just horrible. I can't believe those grenades did nothing, but anyway. At least it cleared out some inventory space, some handgun ammo. Red eye. The blue eye. Now, I don't know if there is a genuine rarity among them, but it seems to be that blue eyes seem to be the rarest in this. Loads of green, loads of red, but not that many blue. Now, quick turnaround. Now, here we are. We're in like another prison section, and there is one of those horribles that's going to drop out of this thing. In fact, you can see it. In fact, we killed it. Nice. Yeah, when you take a few steps forward, that normally. In fact, there's another one. Quickly. Nice. We're going to change the shotgun just to mix it up a little bit. It's partly because I got the volume so low, it's kind of hard to hear what's going on. There is one in here, and you can't actually do anything until he busts out, but he will keep the door open from the other side in a minute. But anyway, we can get in some of these other rooms, but it will spawn stuff, as you can probably heard. And the laser is a good way of sort of spotting them. You can probably hear him running about. Come on. Oh, and they can run on ceilings and stuff. Come on. Oh god, there he is. There he is. That was yeah, just pure panic fire. He's not dead yet because they do a little wriggle on the floor when they're dead like that. Yeah. So as I say, it seems to be that blue and blue eyes are the rarest ones, so and you can combine them with a butterfly lamp. But anyway, we go around here because we need to push a switch. Okay. And obviously, Kel Surprise, um, it's gonna spawn a load of horribles. There we are, butterfly lamp. 
There are actually two butterfly lamps um, that you get in one playthrough, which is unusual because I don't know if there's any others that are like that. Any other treasures that you can pick up twice, but um, yeah, there are two butterfly lamps. So that's drained the water out of there, but it has spawned a load of horribles. So anyway, what we're going to do first of all, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to merge, combine that with that, and combine that. There we are. We've got a couple of completed butterfly lamps now, I believe. Yep. Which are worth a fair bit of cash. Anyway, heading out here. Um, there's an horrible up there, as you can see. Wait for it to spring up. There we go. Oh, it's still not dead. You see, that's what I mean. Some of them are pretty damn tough. And there's another one by the sound of it. It's in front of me. There we go. There we go. It's just handy to use the shotgun for this, just because it's got such a wide sort of area. Now, when we come around here, you will see that door will come busting open in a minute. Opposite, from the cell opposite. It will. <laughs> There we go. There we go. I say this is a lot more difficult when you um, when you can't hear them. And so I have to have the volume low, or it will. Um, I don't know where that is. Oh, it's behind me. Yeah, once you can put them on the floor like that, they're not too bad. Way, get up and jumped on the ceiling. Run away! Oh! There he goes. He did like a weird kick thing. Finally he's dead. Right. Hey, blue eye. Don't know if there's anything in here. Nope, nothing in that one, of course. Other than that horrible bug thing. However, there is some... A couple of things in here. There is a shotgun shells, ten of them. And there is this as well, which is just another another document, Louis' memo. So if you want to read that, it's quite an epic memo actually. Yeah. Now, of course, jump down here, and as soon as we boot our way through here, there we go. You've heard that, no doubt. Another blue velvet. I had a feeling there were two of Oh god, I hate it when they do that. No. Oh! Ow! I'm gonna run up these stairs. Oh! Well, you gotta shake them off, they'll sort of flob on you, but not the end of the world. There we go. It's still not dead. Okay, now it's dead. Gordon Bennett. So yeah, as you can see, I mean, it knackered like half of my health. I will actually take a herb as soon as we've got a couple to spare. Actually, I'm going to take another one as well. We go sprinting up here, open here, and now we've got this interesting bit that I have never failed in my life. But because I'm recording, I bet you, you do have to run through this bit, okay? So you just wait for it to go. There we go. It's the same deal with this, you just have to sort of wait for it to go back. There we go. And now this one, slightly trickier, you just gotta kind of run up the middle this time. There we go. Easy as that. So it's all just simple timing that one, that's not too way, not too difficult. Turn around twice. There we go. Heading up here. We should find ourselves before long. Actually, I think I've actually chosen the more difficult route first. Ugh. I think. Oh, here we go. We're back in this room, which is good. We're going to annihilate these dudes. One of them has got something that is worth quite a bit of cash. So we're going to take our RPG. And if we head over here, we can see them all, like, bowing and worshipping and praying and stuff down there. There we go. Now normally they would all run off, but 
They couldn't, because we RPG'd them. Oh great, we've got another one of these. There we go. There is a vase thing down there, but I can't really bother to get it. Oh, bottoms. And I've gone the wrong way. No, I haven't. What I need to do, we need to go across here again. Another one of these chandelier jumps. The thing is, I would have liked to have done this a bit quicker, because all those ones that we just killed dropped spinnerels, and they do disappear. Um if we don't hurry up <laughs> and we're not really hurrying up grab the elegant mask and there's a lever here here we go That's what I'll try and do, there we go, jump down here and hopefully some of those things that we have, they are, here we are and each of them drop a spinel so it's a good chance to pick up hundreds of them and he drops something rather special, an illuminados pendant which is worth quite a bit of cash. Oh, they're starting to disappear. You can see the little shiny bits getting smaller. There we go. I think I got them all. Maybe missed one, but anyway, got most of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave it there. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, in the next part, we'll start gathering those things that we need um, to open the big door. But you'll see that a bit later anyway. So yeah, thank you for watching this part and hope to see you in the next one.